Hi, my name is Jen. Welcome to my channel, All My Plants. Today I am going to fight with philodendrons. <laughs> I'm going to try to uh, repot and stake 69686. Um, the trellis, or yeah, the stake that I have my Jose Bono on is not up to the task. And then, woo, that's really not up to the task. <coughs> My tripartitum here, which I don't even know if it's all fitting in the frame, has grown off of this wooden stake that I kind of just don't want to use wood anymore. Um, can we see it? I guess maybe a little bit. Um, and it's, it's taller uh, by at least a foot. It's kind of bent over and like stuck to the pole again. So I'm going to fix that. And then, <clears throat> let's see, behind me, whether or not that's visible, I couldn't say. Right here. Can we see it at all? I can't tell. I can't see that far at all. But this is my uh, Campos Bortuanum, which is also off of its stake, and it's a wooden one, so we want to get that out of there. Actually, I'm putting a wooden one back in that, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I've treated the bottom with dry lock. So, peekaboo. So uh, I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way and we're gonna get started. Okay, I am going to start with the philodendron 69686. And I've got a flimsy little bamboo pole that I'm gonna put it on and we're gonna hope that it'll at least do till the end of summer. So another month or two. This is the one I treated this in a video because it had mealybugs. How, like mealybugs usually don't pick on my philodendron, but it did have them. Looks pretty good now. Other stuff has happened to it since. Got some sunburn here and there. Like, overall, we're not doing that bad. It's okay. Oops. Except for that it's floppy in the pot. <laughs> so, start with the smallest one first. I think I'm gonna put it in this pot. It's a little bit bigger than the one it's currently in. Let's see. No roots coming out the bottom. Oh yeah, some tiny little bitty baby ones. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a big mess doing it. <laughs> this plant, I was starting to wonder if it was gonna grow there for a while when I first got it. And it's growing okay now. I mean, it's kind of slowed down, but I think this one doesn't love the heat as much as some of my other ones do. It's got good enough roots nothing wrong with this soil or anything I'm just knocking some of it off because I'm gonna top it up and refresh it a bit the roots look good I don't know if you can see them at all they're like white and plump and enthusiastic yeah all right using the same soil mix I always use I just mixed up some more because I just spent $80 on soil stuff over at the at the local homey depot all right, get out of my way for a minute. <clears throat> but yeah, soil is expensive. Or well, it's not the soil, it's all the amendments and stuff that I want for the soil, I guess. Yeah, I think I got this little pot at Home Depot too for $1.98. It's some better than a nursery pot. All right. I don't know, like, I guess eventually this plant would want support, but right now it doesn't really seem to care one way or the other. But nevertheless, it has earned some. All right. And fill, fill, fill. I think I, think I might actually wipe these down while I've got them in here. Um, all four of the plants I'm messing with today uh, have been out in the greenhouse. I think the one that's been out there the least amount of time is the Jose Bono. Um, but I did put it out there just to give it a little summer boost on the growth. Um, but I think they're all going to go back out. But I'm going to wipe them down and um, maybe go ahead and preventative maintenance treat them for pests. I don't know. Um, my soil does have systemic in it, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see.
Anybody else have a 69686? Are they slow growers for you? Oops, because this one, I mean, it hasn't been the slowest, but it's not been much on this side. It's not been terribly fast either. It's had periods where I was like, oh, maybe it is a fast grower, and then it's like, mm, no, I'm not. It's like, you know. <laughs> like it put out a leaf and then started to put out a growth point in rapid succession, and I'd be like, yeah, cool, we're gonna do a grow. And then, like, the growth point just sits there. So I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm, my mind's not made up one way or the other on whether or not it's a fast grower. Oh, please come on and stand up. Maybe if I put some tape on it. I had a couple pieces of tape. What did I do with them? Story of my life. No idea. No idea what I do with them. <clears throat> but anyway. Get in there. What have y'all been up to? I have been sweating, mostly. <laughs> Oh, there's a little spider. No, it's not. It's just a spider web. Uh, but yeah, it's just still hot here. It's another day. Same story, different day. As far as that goes. The heat part. I don't know when it's going to cool down. I think today the heat index was 124. It's starting to cool down now. It's uh, 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, and that's only because the shade comes up over my house this time of day. Like, there's woods behind me. There's woods all around me, but the closest woods are right behind me, behind my house rather, which is that way, it's the back of my house. So, I don't know. We can hope it'll cool off soon. We can hope. I'm ready for fall. Like fall is my thing. Um, spooky season, I'm into it. I'm ready for it. All right, we're gonna call that guy done. It's still really wobbly in the pot, which I imagine it will be for a while. So I water it in pretty good a couple times, um, which I'll do after I'm done. Next. Okay. The next one I'm gonna fart around with is this Philodendron Jose Bono. I don't know if it's showing. I can't see that far. I don't know if it's all showing in here. Maybe I can kind of see movement. Um, this is not the newest leaf. It's just one of my favorites. I think uh, Katie did eight part of my newest leaf, which if you don't know what Katie did is, I'll put a, a picture of one on screen, but they love to cut holes in your leaves. This is the newest leaf and there's, I can see a little growth point coming, but I just put this in there. I'm not sure if this is metal or wood or what's going on, but I think it's just because the plant is heavy. So it's like flopping around in the pot, which is not ideal because I don't want it to break. I'm still debating chopping this and propagating it. We have some nice adventitious roots going on there, aerial roots, whatever you'd like to call them. We have them. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, not yet. If I wanna do it, like, I need to do it before fall, or I should do it before fall. Okay, get rid of that. Um. It hasn't even been in this pot that long. Ugh. Do we have any roots? Nope, no roots. Do I put it back in the same pot? Hmm. I did bring this one. No. If it goes anywhere, it'll go in the Monstera pots, which was yesterday my time. Which, no, I didn't wash. Mm. Probably should. <clears throat> but I'm not gonna... Oh my gosh. Okay. There's much more in here than I thought it would be considering I just put it in here. Handy dandy tools again. Let me go get that. Please don't fall. Please don't break. Please behave. Okay, more handy dandy butter knife. Oh, because it's the tool that never quits working for me. Oh, oh, oh. This is really hard. Okay. I feel like I just, I do pretty much every day. I either pot something up or repot something every single day. <clears throat> and I, that's with me putting it off. There's something, like I said, that gets it every day. Gosh, come out of there, please. 
without ripping the roots off. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think it is ready for a bigger pot. I hope. Um, it's weird how it's separated, like the bottom of the root ball. I guess maybe it was just stuck in the bottom of that pot that well. I'm not trying to be terribly disruptive, just knock some of this stuff off because I want to uh, freshen that up. Okay, let's get it off this. I can't even see where to grab. Get it off this guy. Do you think it was grabbing this little stick at all? Let's see. Nope, not really. Just leaning on it. Okay. So. Oh, just, just be still a minute. Nothing needs to happen. I think I'm just gonna leave that in there. I can even still see the fertilizer beads in there. All right. Move that. I'm putting that on PVC, I think, like I did the, uh, the monsteras yesterday. Like I said, I don't expect it. Ooh, I don't expect it to grab or anything, but it will lend some support. I'm gonna try to get it centered in the pot because this. All my plants want to fall over. They're top heavy, every single one of them. But if I put them all in pots big enough that that didn't happen, um, I'd probably drown them all. Let's see, right up this side. Oh, it's not going to be centered still. Mm. Hopefully between the pole and the plant, it'll be centered enough to not pull itself over. I'm going to put a piece of Velcro on this um, just so I don't have to try to hold it while I fill this pot. I love this plant. Love this plant. Do I say that about every plant? Maybe I just love all plants. And mostly that would be true. I would mostly agree with that, that I love all plants. Some more than others. <laughs> all right. That's on there. <clears throat> now we're gonna fill this sucker up. Hopefully I've mixed enough soil to get through these guys. I think I have. I mixed mostly a um, full full tote, I guess, of it, which I usually do when I mix it. I'll just go ahead and, if I have enough to mix a full tote, I mix a full tote. And usually I do, because if I run out, I go running for more. Like I said, this is an everyday thing around here. <laughs> All right, kind of gonna hold itself up for me. Yay. This plant has grown faster than I expected it to. It's probably it's one of the faster growers. My fastest is probably the Campo which we're going to play with today as well. I don't think anything can grow faster than Campo. I don't know. Even my like vining philodendron hanging baskets, Pothos, none of that has anything on that Campo. Nothing on it. This one has been very well behaved. I thought this was gonna be harder than it was. It might've been a little hard to get out of the old pot, but it's been easy to support and get in the new pot. So yay for that. All right, I'm not gonna mash that down too much, but there we go. There's Jose. Looking pretty good, I think. Oh, and of course the stick's a little crooked. You don't realize it till you turn it. All right, good enough. Put him aside to be watered. Okay, and then the little old philodendron tripartitum, which this is the newest leaf, kind of up here, maybe still in frame. Um, here we go. It's 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 done a thing. Maybe you can see. I don't know. Um, that this plant is on wood. I want to get it off the wood. It's in a terracotta pot. It dries like nobody's business. And it's just uh, not being supported at all by this pole anymore. So uh, I guess step one is to get it out of the pot. 
Um, where do I do with, oh, my handy dandy tool. Straight out the kitchen drawer. <laughs> this hasn't been in here that long either. I don't think. No, actually this one has been in there a while. I think this winter I repotted it into this. There's a string of, of pearls or something down in there. Oh, it's grabbing too. Piece of string of pearls. I break plants and then I just throw them in other pots, like especially when I'm in the greenhouse. I, instead of propagating them, I just throw them in a pot. Oh, there's an isopod. Oh, you're not gonna make it in there, buddy. Let me put you outside. Come here, where are you? Okay. You do what? It's a bird. All right, let's see if we can get this guy out. I'm gonna try to throw some of this dirt in this pot rather than dump it all over the table. Oh wow, this is like, I don't even know how this plant's been growing because I just pulled the, the base of it. I don't know if you can see, it's right here. Like that's where the cut end was. It's got plenty of roots going into the soil. But like, I'm really surprised that it's uh, survived this way. The pole doesn't look rotted yet. But I still need to get you out without destroying the roots. This might actually go in a smaller pot. That'll be fun to keep up, right, with the support in it. Okay, Let's set it free. Stand up for us. I might need to get a disembodied arm in here to help me. Um, let's take this guy back up without breaking it. We'll see, we'll see. Ooh, hang in there, buddy. All right, we're free of the pole. I think I'm gonna set this guy much more deeply in the pot. It does have some roots, but not as many as I would have expected. But then again, it is like dehydrating in this pot. There's beetles in it, ew. Oh, and another isopod, come here buddy. You gotta go outside with your friend. Okay, stay there a minute. Did I drop him? I dropped him. Where'd he go? Oh, he's crawling up my arm. <laughs> it is steamy. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to downsize the pot on this one. It was in, what is that, six, six inch? Don't have anything much smaller. This is a little smaller. I'll put it in this guy. Or I could put it in Jose's pot. And then I could have the cover pot to help weigh it down and hold it upright. Let's do that. All right, dump this in this. All right, I am making such a huge mess. It's so hot, I can't wait until it cools down. I know I keep saying that, but man. Y'all, I'm toasty. Oh, let's see, I've got like a five foot piece of, which one's taller? Oh, <laughs> a piece of PVC. My bird's gonna scream about it. This might do it. It might. Um, my husband just came back from the store. He went and got me some adult grape juice which I'm pretty excited about. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's right. He hates it. All right. It's fine. It is. All right, I'm gonna sink that much more deeply in this pot. I might lose that bottom leaf, but it hadn't been looking good for ages anyway. <clears throat> this poor thing. It will straighten itself out, I promise you. It will, it will. She might take it a while, but it will. All right, I just need you to 
hold it there for just a second. None of my Velcro is long enough to reach around. This one might, might be. It might do be. Put you right here. I can see other growth points activating. So this one is also going back outside when I get done with it. All right, let's get some soil in there. Get some soil on them roots. This plant has actually grown pretty fast. The propagations I took from it, I think I did it on camera like a couple months ago at this point. Um, the same time I propagated this Campo Sportuanum, wherever I put the, oh, it's still hanging out behind me, but I did them at the same time. And this one here, I don't think anything has grown from the propagations. I mean, they're rooted, they're out in the greenhouse, they're just hanging out there. The propagations on the Campo Sportuanum have done a bit more and I'm actually, I think, going to pot them in with the mother plant today and get those guys climbing because it's sparser at the bottom. Um, I think because the near the bottom of the plant, well, first it was summer growth, then it was winter growth, and now it's back to summer growth. And you can see the difference in the light levels by looking at the plant. I might actually top dress this plant with some river rock too. Like not purchased river rock, river rock that I went and actually picked up out of the river. Um, I can't tell you which river, New York maybe. Black River in New York, upstate New Yorkish. Up there, I'm pretty sure that's where I got those particular rocks. And if not there, then I got them in Tennessee. Gatlinburg area. I like rocks. I pick up rocks. I'm that person. Has a pocket full of rocks anytime you go anywhere. I'm hiking and I weigh 50 pounds more than I need to while I'm trying to go up a mountain because I've got a pocket full of rocks. <coughs> Shoo, hello. Hey. Yeah. Do what? I didn't hear any of that. That was all, you're like. Yeah, I can at the moment. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. I had to go or I have to go and get my friend's phone. So this is gonna be called on account of other chores to do. I'm gonna bump you up. I am gonna try, well, I don't know. It might just sit crooked for now until it straightens out a bit more. But yeah, I'll point you up so you can see what I've done here and then I will be back to do the other one. I'm trying to catch the, the people down there before this place closes for the day. Um, she works at the state park, so. Let's see, can you see the top of it up there? Like, this is gonna be the new, the new leaf right off the top of the screen. This is gonna be the newest leaf here. Um, and it's got this weird curve there, but I'm just trying not to force it, force it straight yet. So we'll get that um, after it kind of gets the idea. It will. All right. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I can't remember where I was at, but my adult uh, grape juice is cold. So I think I have these cuttings of the Campo Sportuanum. I can't tell where I'm at. I'm just wandering around in space. Like here somewhere is a camera. Um, it's two cuttings. They're doing pretty good. This one here is doing a little bit better maybe. They're both kind of angry right now, underwatered. They are wet because I apparently love to play in mud. But I'm gonna plant them in here with the, the actual plant, which maybe you can see behind me. But let's do that. All right, I gotta stand up for this one. If I can move this bench out of my way. This is a big plant. It's probably about five feet tall. It's like to my nose maybe, and I'm five seven-ish, so. This is the plant. 
looking a little rugged at the bottom, but so that's why we're planting some um, cuttings in there with it. Looks like Katie did some chewing on this one too. Let's see, like this leaf Katie did got, and then this leaf Katie did got, this leaf. They are a pest around here. All right. Um, I don't know how well this pole is doing, but we're gonna take it out. <clears throat> and I think I'm putting it in this pot here. Size comparison, it's a little bit bigger, but I am putting more roots in the pot, so. Um, how do I do this? With my handy dandy tool, that's how we do it. Can you see down there? Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing, can you? I don't know where I'm at in relation to the camera. But trust me, I'm getting these roots out of this pot. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to do anyway. And not jam it into the ceiling fan, which is still a good four feet above me, I think. Oh, come on. I wonder how well rooted this is. It looks like there's two in here, yes. Mm -mm -mm. That may or may not come out of here without ripping all of the roots. Oh, okay. Decent looking roots. There's roots all the way around. I don't know how well you can see, but I promise you there's roots there. All right. Um, I guess now we unpull. We unpull it. I'm gonna start at the top. Oh, man, it's hot in here. I shouldn't complain, it's even hotter outside. And I do have air conditioning, it's just um, struggles to keep up in here. There's like, over there sliding glass doors in the next room over. And I do have Florida, Florida ceiling curtains on them. But, whew! Still, it heats up. And that's a sort of southwest-ish facing. I'd say more south than west. No, more west than south. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, it's a hot, hot ass window. All right, we're unzip tied. Unfortunately, this is grabbing this pole. I hate to rip it off, but it must be done. <clears throat> Oh yeah, it's grabbing everywhere. Like, it's, I'm lifting it and it's not falling off if that tells you how well it's grabbing. Oh, I'm so sorry, dear plant. Here we go. I don't think it'll lose any roots, but it just sucks that after it's grabbed that I have to rip it off there. All the way down. Oh, those were nice roots. All right. Hey, it wasn't rotten. It's fine. It's fine. They hate it. Oh, wait, it's side down. It's fine. You don't blame me. All right, a little more adult juice fuel. <clears throat> There's a dog in that chair. It's still fine. Okay, uh, I guess first we'll start with some soil in the bottom. Plenty of soil in the bottom, not that much soil in the bottom. All right, I think the pole I have is like, I'm gonna say six foot, cause it's a little bit taller than me, a little bit taller than this plant. And I guess when it grows off of that pole, we'll be chopping it. Um, cause like, I don't know what else to do. I'm going to try once again to center it. I don't know how well that's going to work through the root ball. Gosh, there's so much, there's a lot of plant here. Lots of plant here. Um, but it's, this has been a cool plant to watch mature because it does it quickly and easily. Um, it doesn't make you work for it. And I think, I think that's cool. It was, let's see if I can get this around here so you can see what I'm talking about. It grew like 
roots down into the drainage square. It's like a self-watering pot. I never really used it as such, but it grew the roots down into it anyway. Oh, don't break. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to get this broke up. Maybe some. Maybe some. Or just give it a good squeeze. That's my method. All right. My big old pole. Okay, I have a disembodied arm coming to help me. Because I need help. This pot. Can you see it? Yeah. All right. I painted this with dry lock, so we're hoping it won't rot this time. I know, it's close to the ceiling fan. <laughs> My husband's pointing at the ceiling fan. It's close. As long as I don't lift when I pull it down off of here, maybe it'll be okay. All right, I need a disembodied arm from over there, over here, wherever. Oh, you can scooch way in here. Can, uh, can I see your face? No. <laughs> I was checking. All right. Um, oh, my goodness. This is fun. Oh. Oh dear, this is a big plant, huh? We think hot rod. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh jeez. Oh. Okay. All right. Um. Yep. All right. Don't don't let her don't let her slip. Hold on to it. All right. I'm gonna put these guys in with it the little cuttings, but I'm going to put them around the back side, maybe. Okay. <clears throat> of course, I just watered these today. They're all like mud. I didn't think that through. Story of my life. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't think shit through. All right, there's that guy. All right, I'm gonna strap this big one on here so my poor husband can go sit in the AC instead of standing here holding plants for me. All right, you're letting them slide down, sir. You're slumping. They're slumping. <laughs> All right. I wonder if those aerial... All right now, don't break her. I wonder if those aerial roots will grab a hold again. Like... It had nice ones and I had to rip them off of the wood. <clears throat> Just don't break it. It's a lot of plant. Now the other one flopped down. Maybe I should start at the top and work my way down, huh? Sorry. <sighs> okay. Where's the other one? <clears throat> Oh my goodness, how do I, how do I even do this? Like that? Does that look good-ish? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe even, I can go even higher, hold on. Man, it's hot up here. It's hot everywhere. Okay, go ahead and let go. See if anything flops off anywhere. All right, thank you for your disembodied arm services, sir. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. I'll blip you out if you don't want to be on camera. All right, it's good to have a helpful husband. The man loves me for some reason. That's all I can tell y'all, for some reason. He puts up with all of my nonsense. And there's a lot of it, I assure you. I assure you. All right. So right now I'm just kind of still strapping this on here. I will backfill and try to strap the smaller ones on there eventually at some point. Right now I just don't want it to fall over and break itself. I'll show you like a view of the actual whole ass plant in a moment. I hope this plank pole post whatever this is doesn't rot this time. I don't know, it didn't do as bad as I thought it had, actually. Okay, I need 
another one. I'm just reusing Velcro from where it was strapped onto the other one. So, all right, let's get some soil in here before this dude falls. Before this dude falls, those are too low. Scoopy scoop. I need a scoopy scoop. Ugh. This is such a mess. So this is not in the center like I hoped it would be. It just wasn't in the stars. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. All right. Uh, let's see. I think they might fit in here now if I can get it out. Yeah. That one's going to go there. And then this one on this side. I know you probably can't see them. Uh, but they're going in here. If I can hold them in place and not drop everything. Mm. All right. Pokey, pokey, poke. Poking soil down in here. I want it snug. Some of them I don't worry so much about being snug, but this guy needs to be snug <clears throat> with this big old pole. Six inch stick in here, or six inch, six foot. <laughs> All right. My husband's getting ready to make us some speckled trout for dinner. I'm pretty excited. We eat a lot of seafood. Not that much though, considering that he's a waterman, but a fair amount. A fair amount, I guess. We like it a seafood. Okay. <gasps> Yay! No hands. Look, Ma, no hands. Um, I'm gonna have to restrap this, but I'm gonna clean up my mess, water it, and then we'll strap it. And I'll show you everybody now that they're kind of on the pole and in the new pot? Question mark? Yeah. I'm having audio issues today. Okay, so we got four dudes here. The Campos Bortuanum, the Philodendron Tripartitum back there, Philodendron Jose Bono here, and then the philodendron 696866. <laughs> it's a mouthful right there. Um, it's doing pretty good. New growth point. I didn't put it on there too snug yet, but I will kind of uh, pull this over eventually. Um, this one here, it's on there pretty snug because it was already kind of growing up the, there we go, kind of growing up the pole that I had on there. You can see maybe if it's focusing sorry the lighting's not great the ring light doesn't really work through my body um the tripartitum we've got it kind of snugged up over here uh considerably more than it was it was kind of sticking out at an angle um but slowly but surely i've moved it up and over and i will get it even tighter than that probably by tomorrow when i put these guys back back outside because i won't do it tonight because i'm not gonna lie i just want adult juice and to chill in the AC, so. <clears throat> but there's that guy up there, pardon the cobwebs on my ceiling and the bulb that appears to be out now, yay. Uh, but yeah, it's a six foot pole there. And I think that one's on a five foot, the tripartitum is on a five foot. This is on maybe two and a half, three foot. And then this is on, I don't know, 18 inch, 16 inch, something like that. But yeah, we've got new growth points and things. Things look good. I'm happy. Let me back up and see if we can show you the results here from a distance. Uh, it can't all fit. It can't all fit because that one's too tall. But yeah, you can see where it's a little sparse on the campo. So I'm hoping, the, I'm hoping those two new cuttings will help fill that out. But yeah, uh, they look good, right? Humble opinion. Okay, I'm sorry, I've lost my mic. I don't know if I've had problems with it all day today. But anyway, these are the plants. Maybe you can see the camp over here. Looking cute. Um, everything's looking good. So, yeah, that was what I had today. Um, tomorrow I have 
or well, I'm gonna record it today. It'll probably come out the day after this, maybe even a day after that. Hoyas. Um, I have some Hoyas that need to be repotted, trellised, etc., etc., etc. So that's Hoya Day. So for my Hoya hose or Hoya heads, whatever you prefer to call yourself, we have that coming. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me, and come back and check me out again soon. Bye.